Welcome back to JSA TV Live, where we are coming to you from fabulous Las Vegas and the Channel Partners Expo Hall floor. We are talking with leaders from across the digital infrastructure industry about a lot of exciting things. Right now, I'm really excited to be talking to Sean Trainer with Connects AI. Thank you so much for coming to JSA TV. Absolutely. I'm glad to be here. And welcome, first time JSA TV guest, I might say. It absolutely is. I know. We, we need a special prize or something, <laughs> so we'll follow up with you on that. Uh, but for our viewers who might not be aware, I would love for you to just start by telling us a little bit about Connects AI and what you do. So Connects AI is a, uh, we're a call center software organization. We are uh, headquartered out of Manchester, UK. We've got offices in Sweden, um, Spain, South Africa, Australia, and we've branched out into the United States over the past couple of years. And so um, my contact center software platform works for anybody who has a call center. And we've also built on top of that a, a virtual AI agent that can accomplish any of the tasks that a human can do. So it's an exciting thing that we're building right now. Yeah, that's one of the reasons that brought you to the Channel Partners Conference and Expo. So I'd love to dig in a little bit more. Like you said, you, not you personally, no, maybe you did, no. but your team I, has worked very hard to build that virtual AI agent. Like, tell me more about that and and what it's doing. AI is such a powerful tool right now to leverage. So it's really a very hot topic right now. You know, AI is uh, across the board has so many different use cases, but specifically what we're doing is that we've built this tool so that uh, an organization that wants to expand their call center without increasing their headcount can use my platform. So my AI agent can do all the same tasks that a human can. It can do uh, receive inbound phone calls. It could do outbound phone calls. We can do text, chat, email, WhatsApp, uh, Instagram, Facebook, X. So any of the different channel of communications that you would want to communicate with your clients or your customers, we can facilitate that. And it's your best agent on their best day, 24 hours a day. So it, you know, we have a variety of different voices that we can use. We can do different inflections. And the use cases really are only encumbered by our imagination. You know, for example, you can have an AI agent that helps you with collection calls. You can have it with customer support calls. We even do tech support calls where people can call in, uh, identify what their problem is with my AI agent, and then it can walk them through the steps on how to troubleshoot whatever problem they have. So it really is defined by our imagination. One of my sales engineers likes to use the phrase, the art of the possible, right? So it's it's whatever somebody needs to have. And I would say probably the most exciting thing about it is that as I talk to somebody about what my platform is capable of, seeing the bells go off in their head and they people start to think about additional use cases and well, we could use it here, or we could use it there. And so it's an exciting platform to be a part of. How would you say it's helping the the companies that you are going to be working with? Does this free them up oh. to focus on other areas? Like, talk to me about that. So it does a lot of it has got a lot of different values. One, it's very cost effective. It's very quickly, very quick to put into play. But the biggest thing is that we can now increase their customer satisfaction. Right, customer experience is paramount for most every organization. And one of the challenges is people call into an organization and maybe they get sent around to a variety of different people to try and get an answer. But if we can do a one call, um, I don't want to say a one call close, but if we can do a, um, a one call resolution for our customers, that builds a better experience for your customers. People today are used to speaking with an AI agent as long as it's conversational. I would say the biggest challenge that things have right now is it's not it's not that people don't want to talk to an AI agent, it's they don't want to have that lengthy pause in between conversations. And one of the things that sets my organization apart from my competition is that we've built our own large language model. We don't partner with a, a chat GPT or anybody else. And so my platform is able to respond to people in a, in a much more rapid pace. So it's a, it's a, it's a regular conversation. And it's not a it's not an IVR. It is a it, you literally could call in and have a, a conversation. So it, it gives a, a terrific customer experience. Yeah, and like you said, I'm I'm picking up and nodding my head on when you said being passed around to five different people. It's and, challenging. And then you just have a very frustrated and angry customer by the time they get where they you need do. to be. So and, you and, cut you down know, on that. So if we can improve that customer experience, we can get people the information that they need quickly. It's just better for everybody. And we can do it in a cost-effective solution. I mean, it's less than 10% of the cost of a human agent. So there's a lot of companies that we talk to that say, you know, I receive more phone calls or more emails or more requests for information than we can respond to. 
that's where my AI can come in and be able to answer those questions for people, regardless of their channel of communication. Yeah. And we work with companies that receive email um, requests and we can respond back to the people. My AI can ingest the email question, identify what it is and respond back quickly, just like we can with voice or chat or text or anything else. Very helpful. Well, before we let you get out of here, is there anything else that's particularly exciting to you right now or anything that you're keeping an eye on? I think the biggest excitement is just the adoption of AI. You know, it, uh, I, I've, been, I've been in this space for a long time and I will say that since the beginning of this year, my calendar has been completely booked up. I mean, the amount of people who are inquiring about AI solutions, people are beginning to embrace it where before yeah, everybody was a little bit hesitant, but today, I mean, it, it is, you know, the whole show that we're at, there's a lot of discussion about AI and, and I think it's really being um, adopted very well. So it's, it's an exciting place to be. Absolutely it is. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us all of the things that are going on. Where can we go real quick just to keep up with uh, the growth of the company? So our website is connectsai, that's C-O-N-N-E-X dot A-I. Um, again, my name is Sean Trainer. Um, thank you very much for having me. All right, Sean, thanks for stopping by JSA TV. And to our viewers, thank you so much for tuning in. Stick around. More to come here from Channel Partners 2025. In the meantime, stay curious and stay connected.